By the way, if you continue lending your money on emotional grounds, you will soon burn your fingers. Interpersonal lending and borrowing is here to stay, and I have nothing against it. But my concern is that many people lend their money not because the borrower qualifies, but because the borrower has whipped them emotionally. They give out their money not because of merit, but because of feeling pity for the borrower. A colleague who earns, say, 20,000 shillings comes to you with a long, touching story, and they are seeking to borrow 100,000 shillings with a promise of repaying back the money within three days. But because you feel pity for what they are going through, and with the promise of three days, many people forget to find out where the colleague will get 100,000 shillings within three days. If anything, payday is still far away from where you are, and even if you are to wait for payday, your colleague can only earn not more than 20,000 shillings. Reality begins to dawn after three days, when you begin to realize that your colleague cannot repay the 100,000 shillings. That is when reality dawns that you have to wait until end month, and even if you wait, they can only pay you in installments. You see, money requires some logic. We need to reason out, and especially where you're giving out your money. No wonder so many friendships have broken because one gave the other money and the other was not able to repay the money. Anyway, to avoid such heartaches, just be sure to lend out that which you are comfortable losing so that if it does not come back or even if it does not come back the way you expected, then you will not sink into depression. Look, you can do better. And this is by the way. <laughs>